guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new as you can tell by the title today's video is going to be a foundation review on a newer foundation i am a little bit behind i think this came out a few months ago but i still really wanted to try it and i figured i might as well show you guys my thoughts so this is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation looks like this so I really love the Infallible line. I've tried the other uh, previous foundations from this line as well, so I have high hopes for this one. I'm hoping it's just as great as the others. Um, this one retails for $14.99. I got mine at Walgreens, but looking at online, it's also $14.99 at Ulta. So in my opinion, I feel like that is a little bit pricey for a drugstore foundation. I'm pretty sure the other lines, or the other foundations in this line, were closer to $10. Um, and this does come with one fluid ounce, so that is pretty standard. It comes in 30 shades, which is a decent range for drugstore. And if anyone is wondering, I got mine in the shade... Uh huh. I got mine in the shade 420, which is true beige. I ordered mine online, so I kind of had to do some guessing. Hopefully it's close. A close match but reading the description here it's supposed to be breathable it claims to be 24 hour wear and to be medium to full buildable coverage so I like a really full coverage so I'm hoping this is able to cover up my acne as you can see here um, it's supposed to be sweat water and transfer resistant and it says it's a thin liquid goes on smoothly to give you a healthy uh, finish okay and the other thing is it does have SPF in it it has SPF 25 which would be good for a daytime wear but if you're trying to go to some sort of event where you're going to be taking a lot of photos this is not something you would want to wear because it's going to have flashback so i'm going to go ahead and get started i'm going to apply half of my face using a sponge and then this half with a brush just to compare the difference so the applicator is a pump which is good it's super clean and hygienic and that way you can really try to get all of your product out of it instead of like a tube so first I'm starting off, ooh, okay so it's really really watery, like really really thin consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and start on this half of my face. Okay so this is um, application after one pump, uh, I definitely would say it is medium coverage because you can still clearly see through. You can still see um, these pimples right here. I'm going to add another layer and see if that hopefully covers it up using my sponge. I feel like maybe the sponge absorbed a lot of the product, but we'll see. So I'm taking one pump here. And let's see if we can build this up. Okay, so the second pump has now been applied and I feel like that definitely helped a lot. You can't see that red spot that was here before and this looks a lot more covered up. Obviously, you can still see the texture of the bumps, but I feel like the redness is way more hidden. Okay, so we have this half without the makeup and then we have this half with the foundation on. So you can definitely see there is a coverage difference. And I do think the color is a pretty decent match as well. Uh, I'll definitely be able to tell once I finish putting everything on. Moving on to the other side, I'm going to be using this brush by BH Cosmetics. Yes, I know it is filthy and I have to clean it, but this is what we're working with today. So I'm adding one pump onto the brush. And let's see. Okay, so I don't know if you guys could tell on camera, but I feel like using the brush gives you a lot more coverage using a lot less product. So if you're going to try this foundation, I would definitely recommend using a brush because you're going to save on product and save on time. And I mean, obviously, I don't want to cake on more layers than I need to. So the brush definitely gave more coverage a lot easier. Okay, so both sides are officially on, just so you can compare, this side is the sponge side, and then this side is the brush side. So I'm going to go ahead now and finish the rest of my makeup, put on some concealer under my eyes, bronzer, blush, all that good stuff, and then I'll be back. 
Okay, so I went ahead and applied blush, bronzer, and all that stuff. So here's how it looks now that I have a little bit more makeup on. Uh, I really like how it turned out, and I'm going to give it a few hours. It is currently... It is 11.22. So I'll be back in a few hours to check in later at the end of the day. I'm going to film another video, hopefully, and going to get a lot of studying done today. So I'll check in after that. Okay guys, so it is now 5.24 and I'm checking in for a little final check-in and this is how the makeup is held up. So um, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is a little bit shiny and a little bit oily in these areas here. But besides that, I feel like it still looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just touch it up with this Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless by Maybelline and see if that makes it like freshen up and look better. So here is a little close-up so you can still see the texture of course but I feel like overall the pinkness of the acne is still not showing through six hours later so I feel like it's holding up pretty well and nothing a little bit of powder can't fix to freshen up with like the um, shininess. Okay, so that is my quick overview of this product. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If so, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I would love to have you as a subscriber. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you till next time. Bye!